Hi, my name is Johan Gasper Spursheim, and I am here to talk to you today about my colleague Franz Joseph Gall. He was a physician and an anatomist born in Baden, Germany in 1758. He is the inventor of phrenology, which includes feeling a person's skull size and shape in order to learn about the person's characteristics and abilities. At an early age, he took interest in science and later got involved with the brain. Gall believes that by placing his hands on a person's head and feeling for bumps and grooves, he can determine different personality traits, what area of the brain certain functions happen, and predict the interest and talents of the patient. For example, he believes you could tell exactly where in the brain color perception occurs, or if the person he is examining is artistic or not, simply by feeling his or her head. His guess is the human brain was divided into 27 different sections, and that of which 19 of those sections are shared with animals. Some of these sections, Gall believes, are in the brain, including language, sound, friendship, and etc. Gall also said that the soul is in the cerebral cortex and is a physical part of the body that could be tracked down to an exact location. To further discuss the topic of phrenology, we'll start by stating it's the study of the human skull. Franz developed the study around the year 1800 and used it to find and study character traits, mental capacity, and capability. As quoted from the Oxford Illustrated to Companion to Medicine, phrenology focuses around the five following propositions made by Gall. The brain was an organ of the mind. The brain was not a homogeneous unity, but an aggregate of mental organs with specific functions. These cerebral organs were topographically localized. The relative size of any one of the mental organs could be taken as an index to that organ's power of manifestation. Since the skull ossifies over the brain during infant development, external craniological topography could be used to diagnose the internal state of mental faculties. Franz founded cerebral localization by pure observational studies and using an original system of dissection. Franz started his research using human and animal skulls as well as wax molds to study the development of cranial contours. By discovering these localized regions in the brain that he called organs, Franz was able to draw four main points from his research. All moral and intellectual abilities are inherited. The way the brain regions are organized plays a major role in the way that the various abilities are used. The brain is the main reason why people have different talents and natural inclinations. And the brain is composed of as many sections as there are faculties. He created the science of phrenology, which is the study of functional localization in the brain and diagnosis by cranial palpation. Basically, the strength of the organs in the brain is expressed by the size of the bulge they have. Gal took an approach from the physical side of neuroscience and proposed that the anatomy and structure of the brain could have an influence on and in fact change the shape of the skull. To generalize this, he focused on cerebral function. In some of his studies, he went as far as to link parts of the skull with different attributes, but this became controversial as some people thought it was odd for him to feel the bumps on people's skulls. He also developed a system of dissection in which he made horizontal slices from the base along the paths of the fiber systems. He placed the brain in a strong alcohol to harden it. With his findings, he was able to supplement the studies of anatomy and embryology. The gray matter he found in the brain while dissecting was actually the source of nourishment of the nerve fibers in the nervous system. His main contribution to the world of neuroscience was functional localization, and the development of phrenology was key to this aspect. In the neurosurgical viewpoint, in anatomy, neuroanatomy, viewpoint. This enabled doctors to localize regions of disease within the brain. Gaul's scientific and social progress was stopped by the Holy Roman Emperor
Francis II, and in 1801, the Kaiser prohibited France from delivering lectures and continuing his coursework because it tended to materialism. In 1796, a German anatomist named Samuel Thomas Somering published a book on the organ of the soul. He tried to locate the soul in the intraventricular cerebral fluid, while Gall taught the psychology phenomena takes place in specific regions in the cerebral cortex and ignored the soul in the mind. Later down the road, long after Franz was deceased, phrenology was determined to be completely untrue. It no longer is used in modern times. However, Gall was correct about one thing in his practice, that specific functions of the body are controlled by specific areas in the brain. He also discovered neurons and axons in the body, which continue on in science today. As for myself, I am Franz Joseph Gall's disciple. I began working with him after I attended one of his lectures in 1800. After he died, I continued his work and was the first to publish the image of a head to illustrate the craniographic layout of organs.